We're making for dinner tonight. A little tip for when you're doing your asparagus is leave them in the rubber bands and just slice the bottom off of all of them at once. It makes it a lot easier. See how good that works? Pretty good. We're going to rinse them off and put them in the pan. Then we're going to drizzle them with some olive oil. You like some, you like some asparagus, Tonka? We'll have to see if you want some asparagus, huh? The olive oil. Now I'm going to put garlic powder and salt on them. I like to put a lot of garlic powder on them. But you can season them how you want. I like to use the pink salt. It's, it's a lot better for you. It's got all the minerals in it that regular salt doesn't have. Just put that over the top. And then we're going to cover it with tin foil and put it in the oven at about 375. We'll check it in 30 minutes. Okay, it's covered and now we're going to put it in the oven. These are my favorite potatoes to use to make mashed potatoes. They are so yummy. Alright, so we're cutting the potatoes up to boil for our mashed potatoes. And so we got them almost done here and uh, we just wanted to tell you to make sure that when you're cutting your potatoes to cut them all the same so that way they cook evenly yeah you definitely don't want some of them to be done and some not you take a bite of your mashed potatoes you're like oh what is that crunch right <laughs> so get them about the same size yeah. you know i'm, I'm left-handed so <laughs> <laughs> she's backwards Ooh. you go to your deli at your store and you have them cut you thicker slices of roast beef. So you don't even have to cook We're going to make um, our garlic knots now. Oh, Tonka says, mm, that garlic smells mm. good. I prepared ahead of time some olive oil with garlic and some pink salt. And I've let it soak so that the olive oil can pick up the flavor from the garlic. So we put some flour down. <laughs> no, I was going to say that if you want to make your own dough, this is pizza dough. Yeah. If you want to make it, go right ahead. There's easy mixes out there to do, but you can also buy it. I already did. <laughs> yeah, it was two dollars to buy that. Yeah, um, coat our pan with that. Oh, these garlic knots are gonna have garlic on the bottom and on the top. Yes. Pull a piece off and like do it between your hands. You know, like you're making a play-doh snake. Oh yeah. And then tie it in a knot. Yeah. Instead of Do rolling it out, out and you can use your hands. I'm just I was just thinking what would be easier? Like, like really ready? Like ready. Yeah. yeah. Like the pin wasn't even look, it's yeah. right there. I was thinking that you want to try just to cut a piece off and try to roll it like it's play doh. Yeah. Like a little piece. <laughs> <laughs> that's a knife, that's scary. I wanted to karate chop it. I, I was scared. <laughs> so I've never made knots. No, so is it like a pretzel? Yeah, yeah. it is. Well actually you tie it like a knot and there'll be like a piece out on each end. Okay. So you, you know what I'm saying? Do the snake. Do a name of that? This is like a feel this. Oh yeah, that feels good. It's a little more rubbery than play doh. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Now pull it and tighten the knot. Like I'm just gonna tie a knot. Yes. Not like a pretzel. Yes. Nope. Just like a knot. There you go. And then you just lay it on a band like that. Are we tucking? Nope. Yeah, just like that. Look at that pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so there's the first one. I'm gonna help her so we can get these done. So that was much easier than rolling. Yes, I think so too. The rolling will take forever. This is how you cook. You you, um, you uh, just figure it out as you go along. Exactly. That's the best way to do it. So okay. now that we have rolled our knots out and tied our knots in a bow. Time and not time and bow. We're putting that delicious garlic olive oil blend. Don't be chintzy. Don't be chintzy. There's no such thing as too much garlic, but there is such thing as not enough. That's right. Okay. I just wanted to get it wet okay. to grab some parm. Wet to grab some parm. Mmm. 
Oh my goodness. It's like we're gonna layer it. Yeah. Now I need a spoon. Oh, right here. Oh my goodness, look at those. Those look incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, just say a few. There's some people, um, I won't mention his name, that does not look garlic like that. Yeah. Okay, they have a baby. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna make the mushroom gravy. First time, we're just gonna add the olive oil. Remember, no measuring. <laughs> and then we're gonna add some garlic to it, some fresh garlic. You'll notice we really like garlic. <laughs> I think most people do, but we really do. We keep the vampires away. Yes. Ouch. You don't want your your heat too high. Because you don't want your um, garlic to burn. Mm. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to dump the mushrooms in. We wash these. Yes, they're all washed. Wash these, boys. Now we have one more thing. Just now we're going to add some red wine. Don't worry, the alcohol will cook down. Something about red wine and mushrooms that is amazing. And today we're using Cabernet. Cabernet Sauvignon because it's not worth drinking. No, but it does taste good when you cook with it. With it. <laughs> we definitely don't like to drink it, but we do like to cook with it. It's got a good flavor for cooking. And pink salt. Pink if salt. you guys don't use Himalayan salt, you need to use it. That's all we use. And it's good for you. It has a lot of minerals, so it's really good for your body. The bad thing about the other salt is it doesn't have all the minerals that the pink salt has. Correct. Yeah. So now we're going to cook this down. You see our potatoes are cooking. We got the asparagus going in the oven. And we're getting there. We'll be back. We'll be back. We're gonna move it on yeah. the bottom and put the garlic knots in. Okay. okay. Woohoo! Right. Now we're gonna put the garlic knots into the oven. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And check on our mushrooms. Give them a good stir. They're starting oh, to boil yeah. now. You can see they're starting to cook down some. Oh, they smell good. So when we do the gravy, we need three cups of um, liquid. So we're going to see how much we have with this and we're going to incorporate this along with the beef broth. Okay, so we have, oh, that's perfect. One cup. Oh, look at there. Yeah, because we have two cups of beef broth, so that's perfect. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to put our powder, powder in the pan and then we're going to add our liquid. And stir, stir, stir. Oh, oh it's going to be so good. Oh, yeah. Now we're adding the beef broth. I'm going to stir it all up, and then we're going to put the mushrooms back in it and let it simmer. Yes. Once we get that all good and stirred in there. I'm going to put the mushrooms back in. Get all that goodness. Mm -hmm. We don't want to lose any of that. Look at the potatoes now. Oh yeah, look at that. So there you go. That's how you know it's done. It helps when you hit the bowl. <laughs> and you get a facial, yeah, you get a facial out of it. Out of it. Potato facial. In there. We're going to put this pan with the water back onto the stove. We're going to put the potatoes in our metal bowl. And now we're going to add a stick of butter. Jen's <laughs> opening the butter. Look at my helper. Oh my goodness, he's such a good helper. <laughs> oh, Tonka! We have another helper here who didn't steal any butter, <laughs> but is going to get some. She says, if I could reach the countertop, I would. That's good stuff. Okay, so we've got the butter in there. It's pretty hard. We're going to add the butter. We're going to add some Parmesan cheese. Do we need to take some out? Oh, no. So now, while it's still hot, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese to it. 
that it helped melt the cheese. <laughs> I'm laughing. Jennifer used to not like Parmesan cheese at all. We're going to put about a half a thing of the sour cream in it. Oh, so good. And then we're going to put the... <laughs> Talk is like, oh, Mom, can I have some of that sour cream too? Do we need the salt? Yeah, you can salt it. Jen's going to put some salt in it too. I can remember to go the right way because I'm left handed. Oh, go I always go the wrong way in that way. thing too. All right. Ready? Yep. Red. And now we are going to just mix it all up. Um, you need to go down. Make it more even so it doesn't fly out. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to add our secret ingredient. My buttermilk ranch. Hey, that's enough. Stop. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to mix it in there. Yeah, turn up higher. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mm. Now, my tip is you're going to keep it warm by leaving it in a metal bowl and putting it in the on top of the pan with hot water. And where's the spoon? Oh, and look, our gravy. It's done. This, oh, it looks so good. And for some reason, I don't know why, but when you do your potatoes like this, it makes them even creamier. And the mixers taste good. Yeah, the mixers taste really good. <laughs> Here. We're gonna. <laughs> These are the taste testers. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just potatoes and milk. Exactly. Oh, sorry, Tonka. I stuck my finger on his nose. Whoops, he didn't mind. Get it clean. You're the dishwashers, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's their job. They have to clean the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you clean that one good. Princess, you're slacking. <laughs> She's like, my tongue's smaller, mommy. My tongue's smaller. Aww. Oh, y'all gonna share Aww. that. So oh, nice. Princess. Princess's his tongue touched me. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did check the other one. Since we forgot to set the timer for him. I said 15 minutes, but I don't know how long ago that was. They do smell creamy. really good. Look at how creamy those are. I'm telling you guys will love these potatoes. Oh my gosh. gosh. Those yes. look so good. I eat them. Look at how big they got. Can you pull them out so I can look at them? Yes. Oh those man, those look perfect. I think perfect. they're done. I think so. Oh, look oh, at wow. that, guys. Just stick them over here. Yeah. I need this countertop so I can just mm. stick pans on yeah, them. I know, them. yeah. It's the best thing about having potatoes grand. on the <laughs> Somebody's squeezing in here. Let me pour this. Yeah. Put the roast beef there. Oh, yeah. And then the gravy. Oh, wait. Let me get you a ladle. That's, That's not working. Say. Okay, yeah. That'll be way better. And now the roast beef is just room temperature. And the gravy is, and the potatoes are what's going to warm it right up. Yeah. And then some asparagus. Him. And there's a plate. Oh, there's almost a plate. Oh, yes. We're not done. Sorry. My bad. Now, there we go. There is the finished product. Mmm. Does that look good, guys, or what? Tonka, no tongues. <laughs> That's from Uncle Rob. No tongues. Mmm. <laughs> hey, Tonka. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And okay. now, a sweet little southern wives are going to serve our husbands while they watch football. <laughs>
Here you go, honey. You're welcome. Okay, these are our plates, but before we eat ours, we're gonna give them some roast beef. Mmm, good stuff.